thinking you were made for me Is it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be a one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock Girl, I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one that I so I made a late start to my day today. It is really what about 3:30? <laughs> yeah, so I got a late start. So this is quite lunch. It is a quite dinner. I don't know what you call it. Okay, okay. it's supper. <laughs> I don't know, but my cat baked some chicken breast. So I cut up my chicken breast, some red bell pepper, some green leaf lettuce some red onions and i'm gonna put some french dressing on it got me a bottle of water for my snack time right about now so that's what i'm getting ready to do right about now uh my favorite dressing is either italian dressing or french dressing love those and i'm gonna munch so let me get to it Y'all, for the last few years, I have probably been a diffuser and essential oil kind of girl, just burning my favorite or just putting in my favorite essential oil scents into a diffuser. And, you know, I still do that quite a bit. However, I was always afraid of candles and really was afraid to leave them burning and all of that. And this is the residue that is left behind from the candles and y'all know it gives off such fumes when you it, you know at least extinguish the little fire but also just in the burning process how it just depletes all of the candle itself but guess what i discovered you know everybody does the wax warmers the little wax warmers but you could get you a hot plate you can still get your favorite candles, but instead of lighting the wicks, just simply, this one is an automatic one. So when you place the candle on top of it, it automatically turns on here, which once the pressure, you know, it has to be a certain weight. So once the pressure of the jar gets on there, it lights it up. And this is what I've been loving right here. And when you burn it down, I'll show you one that I've burned and I've just taken the wigs out because this is my new norm. Um, you can't see the light now. Let me just turn out this light. This light and see if you can see it on here. Maybe you can't. I don't know. It, it was on. You just couldn't see it. But yeah, it's just not showing up. But this is a... Uh, you know, you can sit your coffee on top of here. You can sit, again, a candle. And this smells so good throughout the day. I don't have to worry about it. It's just, you know, amazing, amazing. And I love doing my candles like this because it's worry-free. I haven't planned to, if I have candles anywhere, to use this. I do have a wax warmer, which I showed y'all that. Now this is the little wax warmer here. It doesn't get real hot at all. So I pretty much just leave it on for the most part. And it's cute. It has the little light in there actually warms the wax up and the wax of course is like soft wax so it just warms it up there but here's one of the candles of course I've taken a wick out of them but this is one that was on 
one of the little warming plates and it as you can see burns so evenly but the aroma is amazing another one which i've done that on right here these are the ones i got from target this one's coconut and campfire i just replaced this one um put the one that was in the entryway using it on the wax warmer right now as you can see another one but the actual wax warmer doesn't melt it down like this um it doesn't like make it go away quick this was done using the actual wick burning so <laughs> it's just what's left over and the candles are going to last longer because again this did not melt down like that with the actual wax warmer but what i did was took the wick out and it just becomes a smooth little surface boom all of them i am so loving this y'all i'm so loving this i am this is it this is my new thing okay so get on board and i have a diffuser here in the living room as well but gosh it hasn't been on in a minute and i don't have to worry about the water and all of that i just set the candles on the warming plate so now i have my mahogany teak wood high intensity this is one that i got from bath and body works honey and i said i was going to light it so i'm not going to light it i'm just simply going to warm it up and let it be the scent of the day but this is one this is a very inexpensive wax warmer i think they're about nine or ten dollars on amazon the other one that's an automatic is like 20 bucks but this one you have to turn off but again with it being such a gentle way to warm up the candles I'm really not, you know, a big concern, you know, with an igniting a fire in like that. So this will be the scent of the living room area today for the most part, the entire house, because doing the wax warmer versus the candle, for some reason, it just gives off a continuous glow of fragrance. So, yeah. So now this candle, the mahogany teak wood I mentioned to you all has now burned and or melted. And I did go ahead and take the wicks out of it. So it is gently like giving the room a wonderful aroma. So I love that. I will probably go ahead and move it back to the entryway in a minute. And um, that's it. Fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy 